Welcome Sagittarius Capricorn to your shopper reading for September. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, we're going to change this one up a little bit. This is the unknown path ahead um, for your shopper reading this month. Okay. So doing something a little different, keeping these shoppers balanced. First card out, I guess we'll go this way. <laughs> I guess that's probably the best way. Um, the first card out is what you don't know. The second is the path ahead and then what you need to learn. Okay, so I'm going to keep this open over here so I can see it myself, right? What you don't know. So first card out is what you don't know. We're talking about the near future. Whoa. Okay, keeping the chakras balanced for your path by on Sag Cap and what they don't know that is coming their way in the near future. Victim. Ooh. Okay. So, before we even read them, let's just go ahead and do the next one. Uh, the path ahead. So, path ahead. Path ahead. This card here is talking about the abundance, guys, right? So this card here is what you need to know about your abundance. The next one is your blessings, your prayers, your manifestations, and law and attraction. We'll grab a law and attraction card at the end. Okay. Enlightenment. Wow. Going with that solar plexus chakra. Look at that. You got the heart chakra and the solar plexus chakra going right in a row right here, guys. Look at this. And the last one is going to be your balance. Making sure that you keep those two balanced and keeping all your chakras balanced as much as possible. What you need to learn about the situation coming in the near future is having faith for the enlightenment or the blessings. So it does feel like you're going to have someone around you who is going to be playing victim. Um, they want to play victim because they feel that they are victimized, going to be working on your heart chakra. Um, you trying to keep yourself um, <laughs> uh, compassionate over here towards them by keeping your heart chakra open. It's going to be a tricky situation, right? Because you're going to say, oh, no. And remember, too, friends, for some of you, it might even be you playing victim. Um, am I not a victim? I choose to do what I am doing. Um, so for some of you, it could be one way or others of you, since this is a general reading, could find that it's someone else around you playing on your heart chakra, playing your heart strings over here, my friends, right? This is also though connected to the inability to create breakthroughs. So it does feel like if they are around you, what you don't know is that you're going to either have this energy around you or it's you. Okay, am I willing to make new choices in order to grow, growing away from them, growing away from things that maybe make me feel like I'm a victim? Take it how it resonates. Um, but it's going to show growth in the near future. We see the growth. Look at that. No matter what it is, you're going to, by keeping this heart chakra open and showing the compassion to yourself or this other person, or showing yourself compassion by growing away from this person, um, wow, it's going to be... Either It's either going to be yourself or another person, okay? But however it is, by keeping this heart chakra going and showing the compassion um, either to yourself or them, you are going to enlighten yourself. The enlightenment card over here, wow, that's so crazy, um, is the path ahead. This is where your prayers and blessings come through, revealing and rewarding lives through the decisions that you're making by keeping your intentions going through the solar plexus making sure that your intentions are for the bettering of this the circumstance really enlightening you i think the the thing is is it's going to be kind of a great awakening of this is what's i'm not going to deal with as i grow away from the victimhood this is i seek the peace i embrace my fears so if it is a fear of yourself you're going to move through that if you know that this person is playing victim and you're showing them compassion, but you know that you also need to show yourself compassion by awakening, figuring it out, getting your intentions right, 
and having this great enlightenment. My thoughts always drive my choices. How can I use my thoughts to heal myself through the situation? Right? Trusting in my own intuition for the solitude and reflection. But remember, there's also a support. So it also shows support. So you would be supporting this person in the craziest ways. What? Because probably it's somebody who's playing victim that is important to you. Right? Unless, you know, it's going to be so different. But however it is, it's going to be a relief that's awakening you for the near future. And you're going to keep the faith within yourself by visualizing through the third eye and keeping that going. This has everything to do with, with keeping your balance. And this is what this is. It's going to keep the balance. Um, if I can show you guys what I have on the wall. I can't take it down though, but... It's those who live passionately teach us how to love and those who love patch, passionately teach us how to live. If you guys can remember that, I say it every day before I do my readings. That's the prayer and the blessings that I give before each reading is by showing and teaching. Teach me how to give to you as, you know, as the people who are watching. If I can live passionately, I can teach others to live. If I live and love passionately, I can do the same, right? So it's kind of like you're doing that. You're giving that not only outward, but to yourself to keep yourself balanced, right? So you always want to remember where your journey is and how to keep that balance within not just yourself, but the outer world as well. And this is what you're going to learn. The learning is keeping the faith within yourself as this, look at this, as this teacher, see this teacher? It's almost like you're going to become the yogi in its own way, right? On a serious note, though, seriously, you're going to be kind, kind of like your own yogi. Why? Because you're living in passion and then spitting it out outwards. I do really believe that this is a victim around you. And you're going to kind of be telling them, if you live passionately, you can teach others to live or to love. If you love passionately, you can teach others to live. The yogi. So not only are you enlightening and doing these things for yourself, you're teaching them as well as the master teacher over here. Yeah, you, a master teacher. It's not hard, right? You. It's, it's, it seems like, how am I going to do that to somebody who really believes this and that, not that, just by with using compassion of the heart chakra and putting the intentions out. Okay, so let's see what goes on over here. What a beautiful reading, you guys. You are going to play teacher in the near future. So with the victim over here, clarifying. By gaining all the strength of the, of the three chakras. With the sun, we have the three chakras coming out. Vitality, desire, and intention. Root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus. Really bringing them three together and really shining it out and showing them the cycle of how things can be. Really showing them a new way of things that can be. And then you are also learning as well, right? Because it says, what do I learn? I learn the enlightenment. By what? By the things that I didn't understand, I'm returning. And master, right? You taking the power, taking on the um, role of doing so through generosity and the heart chakra again. All the green, you can see all the green in it. Well, that's going to really balance you. By coupling with the two of cups. So like I said, it's probably somebody that's very close to you that you actually do really, you know, you really do care about this person who is really down and out, really playing the victim. Can't get their stuff together, but you're uniting um, within your soul and really uniting this together by using not only now your third eye, but also your crown chakra. The chakras of everything coming together, and I can only imagine the throat chakra coming out here in a minute. 
<laughs> Since you're getting all the chakras. There it is. I'm using all the chakras. And this is bringing on the new beginnings for the piece, not only within their mind, body, and soul of the powerful three within them and showing them how to do this and enlightening them. You're doing it to yourself as well, keeping your heart chakras and keeping all your chakras balanced. And so with the enlightenment over here, whoa. So really showing them how to be joyful and how to do things, putting yourself over here into this beautiful earth energy, really standing your ground for the enlightenment, really, you know, saying, hey, this is the way it's going to be, right? This is the path ahead. The path ahead is showing even more stability, more compassion, learning how to live passionately, teaching others how to do it as a, your own kind of yogi within yourself, your own teacher. You are the teacher. Bringing forward, forward all the balance. And we have the balance over here we haven't even gotten to yet, right? But this right here is already stabilizing you to get to the faith and having faith that you know what you're doing, having the faith that you know exactly what path you're going on and helping this other person on the path as well. So really taking the control and being aware of the control that you're using. Bringing good, it's not only is it a good judgment call, but you're also bringing in good karma points by doing so. Universe is saying, this is what you're, you're here to do at this time. This was what you're dedicated to do. This is what I wanted you to do, Sag Cap. I, you did what you were supposed to do. And I'm so glad you did because you're bringing in a retribution for this other person and also for yourself as well. It's kind of crazy because it's almost like you're helping this person out and by helping them, you're actually enlightening yourself as well. So it's definitely a two in one over here. You are learning by helping. Well, and that's truth though. We do do that, right? Think about being a new parent, right? Even though we're learning as a new parent, we're also teaching the child to learn as well. Learning to walk, potty, talk, right? So you are definitely um, intertwining um, the living passionately and learning on two, it's two in one. Beautiful Capricorn card coming in saying, yes, and I am, I'm becoming more independent and really learning also how to balance all my chakras. We see all the chakras in the card. They're just, all the colors are coming through and they're saying I'm really balanced and I know where I'm traveling to and I'm traveling towards this enlightenment and this awakening of how to, um, and not only be helpful towards others, but really helping myself as well. This is really a good growth for you. Yeah, it's making you move up the ladder and it's bringing in great communication through the two of you. And it could even help you guys connect even closer than you were before, bringing this beautiful connection. <clears throat> and we see that it's also connecting to yourself as you're growing up. This is the Sag and this is a Capricorn card. So it's saying it's also putting you into balance of who you are. Bringing in both energies for yourself. Within the faith over here, you're moving beautiful and it's giving in new directions as the faith is coming through. With the um, third eye chakra, you see the faith. You see the blessings coming through. This isn't something that's just like... With the judgment here, it's like you can see it, right? Because you're going to see the transition that you're making with the transition of the judgment. So it's not something that is unseen. It is something super seen. So it's not a mystery. There is no mystery here that by also watching them change a little bit through the retribution of the judgment card and seeing them also gain their faith back and seeing them kind of piggybacking on you, right? Right? Why are they piggybacking on you? Because they see you kind of as this teacher. Wow, Sad, you really did a great. So they're kind of following in your footsteps a little bit. Kind of like, it's kind of childlike. The person might be a little younger or maybe they just don't have the self-worth you have. So they really kind of see you as, um, you know, a, just a, you know, a great person and a great teacher um, and someone that they can really trust and they really want to travel towards you. So... Yeah, they're kind of piggybacking on your, on your movements. And, and they're going to want to know, too. You know, you're kind of counseling in your own way, right? If you don't like the word teacher <laughs> or yogi, <laughs> you're kind of counseling. Um, but it's a tremendous effort and amount of 
uh, magnetism that you're putting out towards this person as you're counseling in them and helping them and being a true friend. Um, and you're really allowing yourself to shine and they're seeing this and they're really moving towards you. You could be dealing with an Aquarius who just sees your gifts, sees your energy and just really feels like, you know, thank you. You know what I mean? And they just really admire you for making them understand that uh, you can't sit over here and play victim. Okay. Get up, do something, you know, or just because it doesn't work in your your way doesn't mean the whole world died. It's going to be something like that, guys, that you're going to be dealing with. Okay. You probably already know who I'm talking about. I already heard like, I don't know, about six people like, yeah, 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 I already know who that is. They, they do that a lot. Um, but this is going to bring in that faith. There's that faith again. And it's going to bring in that law and attraction. And it feels like you're going to say to them, you might even be teaching them how. They're going to say, how did you know this? What did you do? And you're like, this is what I do. This is how I know because I watch these videos. I'm into spiritualness. I do all this stuff. I read. I watch. I, you know, interact. Take it out. Resonates. But it's going to be not only keeping your faith alive as you watch them continue to move. It's um, keeping their faith alive. Right? And if you're in a committed relationship with this person, the commitment is going to grow as well. We know that. Right? We already seen that. With the eight of coins. Right? With the eight of coins over here. And you're going to notice new things around them and noticing new things going on about them. And they're going to notice um, you as well because they want to interact with you. They want to learn from you. Um, and they're going to be watching you and kind of almost like wanting to mimic what you're doing in some ways. I bet you're just, you know, there's a lot of faith and a lot of, of healing over here that you're going to be helping them with. So you guys definitely are going to, through your chakra, is really going to get balanced this month by helping someone out. Um, like I said, I think a lot of you already know who this person is. It's no secret. Um, maybe... You just never thought that it was your place to do so, but Spirit says that you're the one that can do this. And remember, friends, if this doesn't resonate with you, you can always watch your regular Sagittarius, Capricorn uh, readings or your um, Rising Moon or Venus. I'm going to grab a Lawn Attraction card to help you along the way. Or your beautiful enlightenment over here. Keeping yourself within your blessings and your faith and your intentions. Best message, please, for such cap. Whoa, right here. And it's giving you a king card. You're going to feel like the king over here. <laughs> going to put you into some high energy as the emperor. Um, I can focus specifically upon what I want. Um, so remember that. And you might even want to give this to your victim. Making sure they understand that if they focus specifically upon what they want and you do the same as well, we can have things. We don't have to play victim. So this would be a great card for you as well to help those with you. And if you start feeling down and they start bringing you down and start, you know, because you're having a hard time with them, just remember you are who you say you are. Words are power. Um, you are bombarded by thought stimulation, so unless you give your attention to what you specifically want, you can be influenced by that which surrounds you. Unless you are focused on what is important to you, you can be stimulated by others' thoughts, which may or may not be important to you. If you feel like you are the victim and this is going on, also remember this card and remember who you are, what you can teach yourself, right? And that it would just kind of change as, oh, it's me. Um, and if it is you, remember, just do the same thing that you would do for another person and you have the same outcome. Okay, my friends. And that was it for you and stay balanced out there. Peace and love. Bye-bye.